Well, I mean, after the initial shock had sort of settled down, I mean, we all started obviously thinking towards the future. Um, the first idea was to get a temporary replacement and finish up the rest of the tour that we had planned, which were about four months of touring still ahead of us. Um, we then had a meeting, all of us, which was the first talk that we actually had about the situation and decided instead of looking for a temporary replacement, why didn't we try and get a permanent replacement? And um, we left the Japanese dates in because we thought that that would give us, so sort of we would have a date which would put pressure on us to sort of get our shit together, not sit around for too long and sort of moan and groan over the loss of Cliff and the situation. So we left sort of the dates in, you know, November 10th, which would be like, it would give us pressure and incentive to sort of get moving and, and do something about it. And um, because we only had a little under three weeks, there wasn't really time to um, do anything with placing advertisements in magazines, newspapers, or anything like that. So what we did was we just simply let the word out on the street that Metallica was looking for a permanent replacement. Um, you know, I called a lot of people that we know. The other guys sort of let the word out. Everyone just sort of asked around what bass players would you think would be, you know, recommended or who are the sort of hot new young bass players. And um, there was this name that kept coming up all the time. Uh, 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 something. The guy sitting uh, next to me. And um, basically what, what happened was that um, we had a week of auditions where we went through about 60 people. And uh, what was interesting about that week was that we felt that we could you know, we could tell even before we started playing with the people if it was going to work out or not. And um, like I said, there was a couple of names that were sort of come up more than obviously other names, and we were all obviously a bit more interested in then those names to spend more time together with them and give them a better chance or whatever. And like I said, the name that probably came up the most was Jason. Basically, we did a week of auditions. Um, we asked. There were four people that we were, were interested in after that week and asked them to come back and spend the day with us, each of them. Um, Jason was second out of the four and after we'd spend the day with him and, and we were out drinking, somehow me, Kirk and James ended up in the toilet together of that place where we were drinking and we just sort of looked at each other and said, that's it, right? And that was it. And we went down and asked him if he needed a job. <laughs> and he jumped up and he jumped up and screamed at the top of his lungs. And it just became I think initially when when we started the search it was like we wanted someone we were looking even sort of in in sort of hardcore bass players. I mean we were very, very open minded when we started off. But then as we went through the auditions it became more and more apparent that we really, really needed someone that could play as much as possible and um, someone who would also uh, contribute some stuff in songwriting and that's where Jason you know, had a lot of favorable points because he wrote almost all the stuff for his old band and obviously he was a very very strong player and um, like I told Jason the first day we knew that, that we, ne we, were, we weren't trying to look for a sort of Cliff Burton number two or anything like that because Cliff was so unique and so different and so, just much of his own personality that to try and do that, we would still be looking and probably would for another 10 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we just needed, you know, someone who would fit in, a very strong player, strong personality and so forth. And, and I know he doesn't have any of them, but we have to settle <laughs> on them anyway. anyway. <laughs> yeah, <of course. laughs>